Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilate. Guys, thank you very much for joining me in this journey. I really do appreciate all of you guys. And I just want to show you how you can wear it. Time it properly, smack it out, and even the Titan Slayer can't not come close to me. I need to figure out if I can put that on my name. That would be pretty cool actually. Let me see if I can figure this out with you guys because I actually have not looked at it. So maybe here, ooh, player Titan, ooh. Oh, come on, that's Flax and them guys. Master tier seven, top 100, what does that even mean? Master tier, whatever. I'm gonna be in the top 10 clan, baby. Uh, top 100 clan, baby, let's go. All right, so I am gonna prestige. Let's see where we are. We probably have only another day to go, which means the next tournament is gonna be void in terms of its ability to contribute towards your ice cream, which is in the event. Um, so I don't think it's going to matter when it comes to your next event because it's gonna start in one day yep yep no nah, no nah, it's gonna be gone by that time this will end and that will be there 10.09 guys i'm gonna be very honest with you even if i smack out 99 prestige right now the chances of me actually being in the top 10 is actually going to be very very difficult and on top of that i probably might have to even use some chess in order to win so if you ask me do i want it to be in the top 10 percent yeah do I want to play all night and not sleep and go to work absolutely tired with probably half an hour sleep? No. So guys, priorities are important, okay? If you want to get it to top 10%, you got all the time in the world, you got nothing happening in your life, I say go for it. But for me, I do enjoy the game. I'm very happy with it. It's really not going to change that much for me. And at the end of the day, these badges, as nice as they are, I really just don't see it as being such an important thing and plus on top of that if you look at it you're probably just gonna get um plus two percent rate damage oh that's actually pretty good but i also do get it at the top 30 percent plus 50 mana capacity minus two uh per stage that's the only caveat in terms of difference snap ch uh, chance is plus 0 0.5 percent and that's about it like you know you're gonna get another maybe 10 times of damage forever but like damage is, is quick right it's easy you quick upgrade bang you're there it, it's not going to change a whole lot for you it's not like it's going to be game changing the moment you get that it literally almost void it probably barely does any damage if you guys think differently definitely let me know but i really don't think it's going to change anything for you so guys this is where we are we're coming towards the end of this and we're probably coming what another 35 days so we'll probably get another one more event if not two short events before we're going to end the transcendence and we're going to be in the next season of transcendence guys so this has been absolutely amazing so for those of you that have just made it trans to transcendence welcome to the world farm as hard as you can go as high as you can save up as many craft points as you can so that when you get towards the end of it that you will make up whatever build that works for you. So say for example, if you have say Heavenly Strike, you would like to play that. Make sure you, you get that at the very end, at the last day before Transcendent ends. So that way you're gonna be able to get the strongest item to push for the next Transcendence and get that ready for it. So that you're gonna get up all the way to the cap of where you were before. And so you can push a lot harder and a lot faster. So that is a little um, sort of caveat to think about, something to uh, keep in mind and jot it down so that when you get towards the end of Transcendence, I will remind you by the way, but that is what you wanna plan for. So you wanna have those crafting shots. Don't use all of it now, you wanna use it later, okay? Save it for the big run, think about the long game, don't think about the short game. This is a Warren Buffett game, you know, none, none of that Michael Burry, you know, negative, you know, like, oh, is the market's about to pop, the market's about to pop. Wrong, 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 and wrong. Michael, always keep going up, up, and up, and up, all right? So Bitcoin to the moon, guys. So not financial advice, if you need financial advice, please seek a financial advisor. That is always what we have to say, however, that is just my little analogy of how this game works you want to think long term you don't want to think short term because if you think short term you're going to 100 percent lose out in this game all right that's it for me guys that's how you farm and get that titan slayer get it right whatever that title is i think it's just silly but hey i like it i like it silly but i like it and on top of that guys when it comes to the tournament you always gotta time it because these little little things are going to matter in the very long run so it is kind of like catching it at the dip before it comes back up all right so guys 
I hope you're all doing well. Let's get a good start to this week. Whatever you're doing this week, get on to it. Work hard, work out, do whatever you have to. Uh, and make sure everything is ready to go for the week. And guys, I will catch you in the next tournament, which is in two days. So probably likely there won't be a video tomorrow because there's literally not much to say. I don't want to oh, we, 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 we. I don't want to waste your time when it comes to any of that. So um, I'm not going to try and, you know, get something random or whatever. So guys, that's it for me. I hope you're having a great, great day. And please like, drop a subscribe. That will help me tremendously. And guys, I'll catch you all later in the next tournament. Catch you all later. Bye-bye.